Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you a live demo of how to safely administer nitroglycerin via a transdermal patch and remove. But before we get into the good stuff, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tina, nurse practitioner. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Let's get started. Nitroglycerin can be administered through a transdermal patch and how it works is it delivers a constant controlled medication that is delivered over a period of seven hours and it's absorbed into the bloodstream. The way it works is it dilates the vessels and helps improve coronary perfusion and cardiac perfusion. So this is typically prescribed for the patient that may have cardiac ischemia, coronary artery disease, or angina. This is contraindicated if your patient may have rashes, broken skin, or calluses. The two common sites that are administered is the arm or the chest. I have only ever seen it administered on the chest and have only given it on the chest. Some side effects, which may be an NCLEX question, are severe headache or you can get um, orthostatic hypotension. So you want to monitor the blood pressure, make sure it's stable before you administer. So like I've said before, it all begins with an order and that order should be linked to your patient. So the order may say nitroglycerin 2%, apply one inch, twice daily and via the transdermal route. On the order, it may specify if you are to cover it with a transparent dressing. If that is the case, it will help increase and promote medication absorption. Otherwise, you're just gonna use a plastic uh, piece of paper tape over the medication measurement tape. So let's go ahead and gather your supplies. The medication, if it's a new administration for the patient, it'll be um, removed from the OmniCell, your medication room, or the Pixis, whichever your facility refers to it as. So you will obtain the medication um, and it will come in a tube and then you will also have measurement tapes next to it. I like to grab a few of them because the plan is, is to give it twice daily for the patient. So I wanna make sure after I've grabbed a new set, I'm gonna put that at the end in a cassette that is locked for the patient so when I have to administer it again, I know where it is and where I can go to obtain the medication. You'll also need your marker because you're gonna have to label the measurement tape. And if it didn't specify on the order, you will get paper tape um, to apply to the patient's skin. So you will go to the patient's room, you will do your hand hygiene, introduce yourself, and get two patient identifiers. Explain to the patient that you'll be administering the nitroglycerin patch, but before you do that, if it is a new administration, um, you will not have to remove anything because nothing's on, but if it has been administered prior, you wanna remove the old dressing before applying the new one. So you will safely look at the site, you will open up the gown, and you will clean and remove the old measurement tape and you will wipe away any excess medication or residual that was left on the patient's chest. So let's say it was on um, the left side of the chest, now we are going to apply it to the opposite side. So I'm gonna apply it on the right side of the chest and I'm gonna make sure that it is hairless the site because I'm identifying the right um, location to apply the new medication and I'm also going to make sure it hasn't been shaved in the skin because that can increase medication absorption and increase the risk of those side effects that I listed. So once I have done all of that then I am going to remove my old gloves. If they are not visibly soiled I'm just going to get some hand sanitizer and I'm going to reapply my new gloves. So once I have my new gloves in place, I am going to scan the patient and scan the actual um, medication on the barcode of the medication. And I'm going to verify my rights for medication administration. So write patient, write medication, write dose, write time, write route, 
right documentation, right education, and the right um, to refuse. After your hand hygiene is complete, you want to reapply new gloves because you just removed the old ones. Get your medication out. If it's new, you'll see when I open up this cap, there's a foil on it, so I'll need to pierce it. And on the opposite side of the cap, there's a little pokey. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it together, puncture it, twist it, and there's my medication, okay? So taking a look at the measurement tape, you're gonna see um, it's by inches. So half an inch, one inch, one and a half, and two inches. So the order is for one inch. So you want to apply a thin layer. So stop there, okay? And then this is what you're gonna apply directly on the patient's skin. You wanna make sure that you recap this and that it is tight and that you put this in a locked cassette because a family member could possibly think it's lotion and <laughs> apply it on the patient or themselves and it'll just be like a big problem. So this is what you're gonna apply directly on the patient's skin and you're gonna use the tape to secure it unless it was indicated to use a transparent dressing then you're going to apply that over and that'll help increase medication absorption but that's specific to the order you want to inform the patient to keep it dry the area and if they feel like it's um, moved or anything to notify the nurse um, some highlights that i want to discuss is if the patient develops low blood pressure, a change, or they um, suddenly get severe headaches. Um, regardless, you should always notify the prescriber that prescribed the medication because they may want to actually titrate or decrease the medication dose because it may be too strong for them. However, let's say the patient had a significant low blood pressure and they are non-symptomatic, so no symptoms. So you are going to have the patient lie flat in bed um, until their blood pressure normalizes and then still notify the doctor. All right, this wraps up my video. Don't forget to check out one of the other ones and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.